Hello and welcome to day two of our creating a sanctuary space in our master bedroom or in your in my case the guest bedroom because I'm preparing for uh, my holiday guests. I know it's a little far out but if I can get this room done and nobody uses it then it stays clean. I don't have to re-clean it. Just a freshening and then I'm ready for the holidays. So Today we are continuing with our compass row strategy. Yesterday we did ceiling and light fixture, ceiling fan in my case, and then we did the north wall. So we did baseboards, we dusted the wall, we cleaned the windows, I cleaned everything. I mean every nook and cranny literally got cleaned yesterday. Baseboards are done, even the birds. I don't know if you can see the birds. Yep, cage got cleaned, everything got washed, all the bird seed up off the floor, and then Thanks to my wonderful husband, we were able to take the carpet out and it's airing out. I also aired out the bedding. Um, remove, if you're doing your bedroom and you're going to sweep your ceiling, remove the bedding first and then just put a sheet down over the mattress. If you have a dust ruffle, it's time to wash that. Pillows, if they need to be aired out or washed, your bedding to be aired out or according to the manufacturer's instructions, clean that. This bed is absolute, mattress pad is clean. Everything is clean. I remade the bed. Everything smells fresh. It's very uplifting and um, everything feels clean. And we're really focusing on that psychology of clean because that's what uplifts us. Now, um, this is a big picture window and it overlooks, we're on the second floor of my little country cottage and that overlooks hundreds of acres of crops and farmland. Same thing with the north window, absolute just hundreds of acres. I'm surrounded by hundreds of white acres of planted cropland and it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, cotton across the street, soybeans out here. So I even have a little I keep on I have a little bed tray here let's see if you see that I have there it is this is my little bed tray that I keep for my guests but on that I keep a little pair of binoculars because you can see all kinds of wildlife um, kind of going through the crops and you just see hawks and it's beautiful so when the guests my guests are up here they can really get um, a good view of everything going on out in the fields especially when the farmers are working it's it's and, and the air the crop dusters come it's like an air show it's beautiful um, one of the reasons why I wanted to live in the country so today we're going to continue working on every nook and cranny cleaning and when I mean every nook and cranny cleaning I mean every nook and cranny cleaning nothing left un, unlooked at every drawer is removed every item is clean even the vase with you know flowers in it uh, artificial flowers in it that uh, they're taken out they're rinsed off the vase is clean on the inside there is absolutely nothing left untouched so today we're going to focus on the east wall and this is my east wall now i've already taken the curtains down and washed them oh they smell so fresh now, according to your manufacturer's instructions, you want to, um, you can either tumble them in the dryer, air them out on a clothesline, or you can wash them, but follow the manufacturer's instructions. So I'm going to be rehanging these, but I wanted to go ahead and wash them. So if you are just getting started and you have curtains on that wall, you want to go ahead and take them down and, and give them a freshening as well. So I'm going to go through the steps of what we're going to do, and we'll start over on this will work from this side to that side so I'm just going to give you a highlight of what I'm going to do um, so all the pictures will be removed and then I'm going to use my microfiber wand which I've already cleaned and I'm going to dust the wall well, I've already dusted the ceiling so that doesn't need to be done but I'm going to dust the wall I'm also going to clean the lampshade and let's see the lampshade and check the cord just like we do our personal appliances, you want to make sure that you're just kind of cleaning that cord and then visually inspecting to make sure that that cord is in good shape. There's no um, um, exposed wires, no tears in the plastic coating. Um, make sure that the light bulb is a bright white light because that's uplifting. I'm also going to clean the bedside table. You want your bedside table to be non-cluttered. 
um, you want it to look fresh and bright. Uh, probably when my guests come, I replace the little artificial flowers with some fresh flowers from my garden. Okay, so the bed is already finished, but I am going to clean the window. Um, that needs to be, um, you know, kind of clear because you want the visibility. Um, you know, a dirty window makes your entire room look that dirty. So I'm going to clean the window. Then we're going to move over to this side of the room. And that picture is a picture of my grandfather and on his horse when he was about seven years old, you know. Oh my gosh, the lighting. Um, I, I love to be surrounded by things that are meaningful to me. Um, I'm not a go into the store and buy something uh, kind of decorating, but you do what's right for you. But I love to be surrounded by things that have an emotional um, kind of uplifting for me. So anything that's family, let's see, family-wise, um, any kind of artifact that belongs to the family. Um, so that is a picture of my grandfather on his horse, which, you know, I have a horse, so it's really meaningful to me. And I spent my summers on his farm almost every summer of my life. Okay, so that's going to be taken down. I'm going to clean the glass on that, and I'm going to make sure that that wall is dusted. And then anything along the baseboards, along the flooring, um, because I have birds in here, even though I have seed guards on the birdcage, the seeds go everywhere. So I do have to come in here and vacuum frequently. Okay, so I'm going to make sure under the bed is, um, because I have wood floors up here, they're going to be mopped. And then the, when the carpet goes back, the carpet will be um, clean and fresh smelling, but that's going to I want to make sure under the bed is clean. If you have a dust ruffle, you might want to take that off and wash it too. So this is my east wall. Now, if you have any kind of storage device, you want to take the drawers out like I did yesterday. And that video was way, oh my gosh, I'll just say it took forever because apparently I had the camera on like the highest resolution for filming. It took seven hours to process and edit that video. I didn't even like edit much honestly it took so long and then I finally got it uploaded this morning it was crazy anyway um, so just as a preliminary um, it's Manny Petty Day Tuesday is Manny Petty Day so make sure you protect your nails wear your um, protective gloves and also remember you want to hydrate you might want to light a candle put on some soft music maybe some you know exhilarating music to get you going because the the Believe it or not, home caring is exercise. So when you're cleaning your home, you are actually getting exercise. You burn about 400 calories. So, you know, if you're doing it quicker, you're burning more calories, you're really getting your metabolism up and um, it, it helps you to burn some calories. It keeps you motivated, but you're also gonna be thirsty. So make sure you have something to hydrate with. Okay, so just like we did yesterday, any kind of item that needs to be cleaned, um, you want to clean. Like if you have books, you want to just kind of clean your books. Um, these are books for my guests to read while they're here. Um, I like to outfit my guest room. Um, this also is my grandson's room. So when he comes to stay, um, this is his room to stay in. This is the room he grew up in when he was little. So I like to keep this kind of a mature teen room, but also comfortable for my guests. So it has to kind of be dual purpose. Um, but it is just, it's a space where I feel that my guests are going to be comfortable. It may have a little bit more stuff than most people are comfortable with because I'm a collector, but my kids are collectors and Honestly, my guests are really comfortable here. So a couple of things about, um, number one, decorating. Decorating with things that make you happy. The same process that we go through for organizing anything is we go gather. Go gather things that create a theme. It can be a theme of color. It could be a theme of um, 
you know, a, a topic. Like mine is kind of like a safari world traveler room with artifacts. I'm, I'm big into artifacts. So these are parts of my collection that I feel comfortable with. And when my guests come, they actually like to look at, they ask questions about, hey, what is this? Where did this come from? I noticed you have a lion's tooth in there. How did you get that? There's a story for everything when you're a collector. So it adds interest. It gives something for my guests to kind of uh, think about. It's, it's visually stimulating. Now that's just for me, but you may want more of a minimalist. That's okay. Whatever works for you, but because I'm a collector, I like my things um, kind of in grouping to create vignettes because vignettes are interesting. So this has a lot of personal meaning to me, um, a lot of family pieces, a lot of family memories. So when I even come in this room, I like to come in here and read magazines, have my pot of tea, look out what's going on over the farmlands, uh, see how the crops are growing, see the farmers hard at work making food for us. Um, grateful to the farmers. Um, but it to me is a very comfortable a room where I feel very surrounded by positive energy from the items that I have. So decorate with things that are uplifting to you. If, um, you know, there are two types of people as a professional organizer, there are two types of ways of decorating, stuff in and stuff out. Um, if you're a stuff out person and you like to look at things, make sure that you manage um, the clutter so it doesn't look clutter. It's not overwhelming. If you want to put a bunch of items on display, put them in a display case. That way it gives them significance and prominence. It reduces the amount of dusting and it contains the clutter. Anytime you can contain clutter, it's going to give a more cohesive feel to your room. Make sure that your um, surfaces have plenty of room to put things on. You don't want more than a few items out on any surface. So don't make it overwhelming. If you need to kind of gauge what's overwhelming, take a picture of it. Look at it on your phone. If it looks cluttered, because remember, a, a camera adds, a photograph adds like 10 pounds to what you look like physically. It also gives a lot more weight to what you see visually if you take a photograph of the room. So if you take a picture and it looks cluttered in a photograph, remove some things. That's a great way to be able to um, kind of assess whether or not it looks cluttered to you or to someone else. Um, once you get to a point where it feels balanced and just practice, you'll, you'll get it. Once it feels balanced, leave it. That's where it needs to go. Okay, so um, clean the pictures, clean the lamp, check the cord, clean off the marble table there. Um, over here, clean the picture, dust the walls. Um, then I'm going to rehang the curtains and then east wall done. Um, baseboards are already done when we pulled the bed out to get the carpet, that's done. So now I'm just, I'm going to mop under the bed. I'm going to um, make sure that everything on the east wall is clean. The bedding's already done and we are well on our way. After today, we're halfway through every nook and cranny cleaning. It only took about an hour yesterday. So that was one hour. I got a good start. This won't even take me an hour and then I can move on with my day so I don't get so overwhelmed that I get to the point where the rest of the house gets chaotic while I'm working up here. Okay, so Manny Petty Day. Remember to, my birds are saying hi, um, remember to hydrate. Uh, exercise, eat clean, take vitamins and mineral, um, vitamins and supplements if you subscribe to that practice. Take time for some stillness. This is a great time. I'm going to come up here with a pot of tea and look at some magazines. So that is going to be our day today and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'm not going to go through the entire process um, but I'll probably give some highlights. So and until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Love you.
Okay, we have East Wall totally every nook and cranny cleaned. Does that not look like an inviting sanctuary space? Curtains are clean, window is clean, fresh bedding, the bed looks inviting, we have a nice um, ambiance where it just feels comfortable and you just want to just like crawl into bed and just enjoy like that softness that feeling so when you're considering your bed or your guest bed you want to make sure the mattress is nice and comfortable so if it hurts your back if you wake up in the and you're stiff the next day it could be your mattress you may want to investigate a new uh, more comfortable or appropriate mattress um, I have had major back surgery so um, you know mattresses is everything to me but you want it to be comfortable for your guests you want it to be inviting you want this your space your sanctuary space or the sanctuary space for your guests to be a cozy comfortable very um, in my case it's very cottagey because that's um, my little girl house you know when you a little girl and you dream of playing house this is what I dreamed of so I've manifested my little girl dream my little inner child dream and it is the perfect life for me so east wall done check toast um so now that we're finished with this go on about your day <coughs> excuse me enjoy see how we can do this without being overwhelmed it didn't take that much time at all so i will see you tomorrow when we work on the south wall and i will check in with you then until then thanks for being here